This is Dear Shu Mishnah Brewer as we continue learning Hilchais Tfila Simi Nitzadi. We're up to Sif Yud Tes. Says the Machaber, a very important halacha to start today. Yikba Makoim Litfila Sai. One should be Kaiveya, a place for his Tfila Shalisha Neuim Layil Litzayrich, that he should not change unless there is a need. Ve'ain Dai Bimashi Ikbullah Basic and Essence Bowl. And it's not enough. They have a set shul to daven. El gam be beis akenesis shekavuaba. The shul you always daven in. Tzarech shiela makom kavua. Even within the shul, you should have a makom kavua. Explains the Mishnah Bura over here. Sevkatan nun tes yikba makom. What's the reason? Explains she came mitinam by Avram Avinu shekava makom to vilasai. Avram Avinu has a place for his davening. Kitech sevi yashkim Avraham ba abokel makom b'shamach hamespinei Hashem v'gaimer. And even when he died in his own home, he had a place. So that the people in the house should not mix, um, make one uh, confused and messed up while he's davening. Makam kavua says Mr. Bura Simin Sivakat and Zamach. Betoychar ba'amos chashem makam echad within four amos is considered the same place. The Efshel Sam said you can't be precisely in the place. We continue with. And just to mention the fact that Mishabur said Shlo Yivavalu B'nei Abayis, some of the Mefarshim explain what's the Vard in Makam Kavua, aside from the fact that we see the sources. But when you have a set place, you're more set. If you move around, you always start looking around. Hey, from this angle in the shul, I notice this thing and that thing. But when you always have the same place, it's familiar surroundings, the same people, the same tables, the same environment, and therefore it aids in Kavana. We continue with Sif Chaf that says the Machab. You should enter in the, the distance of two openings and then you should have Yesh Mefarshim. Some say it's eight Tvachim. You can't lift in. You should enter into the shul. You should not sit. Don't park yourself right by the door of the shul. Why? And this is something many Rabbeim as well tell their Talmidim. Because if you park yourself at the door, what does it look like? It looks like it's a burden. Burden looks like you're just trying to run out. According to this, let's say you had no choice. One time in the mirror, my seat was literally in the doorway. Every person that walked in bumped into my shoulder. But that was the only seat in the base measures that there was. So if that's your seat, then it is not a problem. Some explain you are always looking outward and you can't have kavan. If he's according to this, according to the second reason, if it's not open to the public, it's not open to the rabbim. It's not something we have to worry about. You shouldn't dive in the moment you walk in. You should wait the amount of time to walk. You should let your mind settle. Wait a few moments. And it is appropriate, says the Mishtabura, to go with both explanations. So the Machaber, uh, excuse me. Explains the Mishmur over here, Siv Katan San Bachalav, Shir Shnei Bzachim, Ayn Bebach, Shai Kasav, Desar Glasses, Azar Lavnei, Basic Nessus, Dugma, So Ula, Shai Lavnei, Aechel, you should have an antechamber before you enter into the Shul, just like in the base of Migdash, they had the Ulam before the Aechel. The Herach Lavarish was that, Maimur, the Shir Shnei Bzachim, the Chengas, the Magan Avram, the Chengagu, Kayim, the Chomaka, the Kind of Lahadir, the Chatzchila, Shlos Bala, Bazar, Kim, Basic Nessus, and for this reason, you have the hallway when you walk into a shul. The hallway is not the place to daven. You make sure you walk into the shul and then you daven. And the second explanation, Sifkat and Samachbez explains the Mishtabura, you should wait the amount of time to walk Shanib Zachim. Why? So that your das calms down, you daven with appropriate intent. If you walk in and boom, you start davening, your mind is not sad. You let the greater person, you let the Gadol enter into the Shul first. Excuse me, incorrect. The, the doorway we're being machabed, Shaykhan is like Gadol Tchila, sits his Rayu Le Mizoza. So for a moment, let's look down over here at Yerushu note number 72 and 73, that Yerushu points out that even though you were being machabed, the Gadol, uh, let's look at 73 first, you still do not want to lose the Maila of being the first 10 people there. Shemikamaki Machabed Gadol Ikanais Tchila, meaning, 
even if you're going to lose. Let's say you're number 10 and the Rav's right behind you. So if you let the Rav go in first, you're not going to be number 10. The Rav will be number 10. Still, Prima Gautam explains it's appropriate to let the Rav go in first. What about leaving Yeshua, Dear Shinot number 72, the Berke Yosef writes, there's also an honor to let the Gautam leave first. However, the Rambam explains that no, this is only an entering into the shul. The Ketzvah Mishnah writes, that's how the, the Sefer Vinsechus Derech Erzuta sounds, but our Sameach, Lein Mekbracha writes, Sefri, Teisefta, Medjish Rabbah, that even when you leave, you should honor the Gadol and write over there. And look over there. And let's say you come after the Adam Gadol, says the Berke Yosef, you don't have to be Mechabi Zezeh, but, and the Shear Bracha, or Chashokhan write, no, even after Adam Gadol, Nechlas Adam HaMetsuyan, Be'ezeh Meili Yishlach Abda, so it's not just a din in the Rav, in the Gadol, but rather it's a din in each person, should be Mechabi, those who are greater than he, to allow them to enter into the Shul first. We continue with Sif Chaf Aleph says the Machab. Sarishli, it davar chaytes be neither be nakir should be nothing separating between you and the wall. But davar kavua, but something that's kavua ki gain aroin v'teiva in a chaytesim. If you have a bookcase, if something that's always there, that's not called a chatitz. That's not called a separation. Says the Ramav lo chashem mechitz rak but davar gadol she kavua sar only something that's ten tefachim tall v'rach by arba and four tefachim wide. Avol davar katan lo chashem hefsik. Live animals are not a separation. If you adam in says Ramav Linir, an animal is yes a problem to you between you and the wall, but not a person. And the Ramah seems to believe that there was a mistake, and that's what led the Machaber to say that Bali Chaim are not a Chatzitza. What is going to take Sif Chaf Beis together? Shouldn't have him behind anyone, but Taiv Lachosh Litvarav, and you should be suspectful for his work, for this opinion. Says the Mishnah Burus of Gotten Samachim Oshli Davar Chaitz. Why? Why can't you have a separation between you and the wall? Explains the Mishnah Bura, Shenem Arviatim Cheskeo Panev Alakir Vispal, that he turned to the wall and he davened. This is a Maila. It's a beautiful thing. But let's be Yisura, and it's not an Isikir Shtar, like when there's a lot of people, so no area, and you have to daven in such a situation, it's not a problem. Okay. It's easy. You have 10 people in a room. Not every person can be by the wall without a separation. Don't not daven because this little chedir achlis. Well, you don't have to go to another room. You should close your eyes. So Siv Chavalif, even though it would seem that how in the world can we do this in our shuls that are so packed, but the Mishnah is explaining that the Yisoy, the foundation of this idea, to dive in right by the wall is so that there's nothing separating, there's nothing messing up your Kavana. So even if someone can't dive in, Directly in front of the wall, he could close his eyes and look into his sitter so that he doesn't mess up his kavana. You're far from the wall. So explains the Mishnah Bura, it's not only if your daf go right by the wall, even if there is a, a sizable distance, still you should try that there should not be a chatzitza. Between where you're standing and between the wall. I'm Prima Gadim. It's Adi Leimer. Says the Prima Gadim. Dima Chatzitza who chutz Dal Ramis Venu. Rishos Acheres He Vesharv Chavos Mag Gibayim. That if there's a separation more than four Amos, then it's not a problem. Beteva. If it's a set item, Sef Kadim Zam Achei Um Mitzay Shalano Has Suyus L'Shchiva. And the beds that are meant to sit down, the benches, the chairs. Bein Derek L'Talzo Makom L'Machem. This is more like an old school pew. Nekrayis Davar Kavua Vein On Chaitzes Vishchol Kiv Tav LaAchma The Efsher. If it's possible, again, the least separation between you and the wall, nothing blocking you, so you will not have any issues with Kavana. Rak with Davar Gadol Sef Kadim Zam Achvav Ayin Betaz Achol Davar Shu Tzarech L'Tfila. If the item is in need for Tfila, if you Gadol Harbe. In a chash of asking, you're going to show come to the advice of Nicholas of a sitter. You have a stander, you have a table. Someone's going to say, Oy vey, we got to get rid of everything. No, that's eating in the tefillah. So that's not the half. So, hey, Nagu basically, and that's the Jesus of Nicholas, and Shokhan Kadish, Kar Stender, Shabi Nicholas, Sudar, and Avobisha, and Vas, Arbach, Arbach, the tenth of Acham Tol, the fourth of Acham Wai, Chen Gazi Shara, Chrenim is not a problem. Rachav Arbach, if God is not Mosai, and Avila Mino, Rachav Arbach, Rachlamala, Vlomata, Vlochash of Hefsik, Sir God is not Machas, Pri Chadish, Chilik. 
So again, the point over here is to try our best not to have any separation between your davening and the wall, but items that are there for tefillah, items that are part of the furniture, we'll call them, are not a, are not a problem. Okay, I apologize for the intense sunlight behind me. Either way, one more Sivkata Zamakhtas, Ishli Zar Melis Balel. This was Sivchav Beis that the Machaber taught us, Shnat Davin behind anyone. Says the Mishtabura Kasav is Sefer, Maimur Mordechai Le Chayri Ishli Daktik was a, you should be precise. The Ashli Zar was as impossible. They have she called Ahama, him the basic Nesnek, and I got to blow up Sagazadam. It sounds like you have this massive wall, everyone's by the wall, and no one's behind each other. How's that possible? It's not a real epic. It's a nice advantage, a nice scrupulous activity. And perhaps this is one of the reasons where it comes from the Sin of Mizrach that you're sitting on the front, straight by the wall. We'll pick it up for Simchaf Gimel in the next year.